Hi there. Now, in this video, in my series on using the quadrant rule, I'm going to look at solving equations that have multiple angles, like this one, sine 2 theta, and the tan of theta over 2, or a half theta, and finally, the cosine of 4 theta over 3. I've also got various ranges here to solve in. So I'd definitely encourage you to have a go at these and avoid the common mistakes, which we'll talk about as the video goes on. And at any point, you might want to pause the video to try any of these questions here. Certainly, I'd have a go at this last one. OK, well, let's start with the first one. Solve sine 2 theta equals root 3 over 2. So what I'd want to do, first of all, is to inverse sine both sides. So that would give us 2 theta. So therefore, we'd have 2 theta equals the inverse sine of root 3 over 2. And we're taking the positive version for root 3. So this is a positive value. What we've got to do in questions like this is to work out what the new range is going to be. We've got this is for theta, but not for 2 theta. So what we'll do is we'll just put down here the new range. OK, new range. And so for this particular example, I've got to double each of these values in here. So if I double 0, we've got 0 degrees, which is less than or equal to doubling theta gives me 2 theta, which is less than or equal to, and doubling 360 is 720 degrees. So we now turn to the quadrant diagram, and we're looking for where sine is positive. So sketching the quadrant diagram, I'm assuming that you're familiar with these and looked at my earlier tutorials, you'd know that sine was positive in the first quadrant and in the second quadrant. So we draw two lines then, equally inclined to the horizontal in those quadrants. Something like that, and marking that those two angles are exactly the same. But now I need to look at where 2 theta lies between 0 and 720 degrees. And I've got solutions like this. Remember, turning anticlockwise is positive. So there's going to be one solution here. And this is labeled now 2 theta. It's 2 theta that we're working with. So that's the first thing that changes compared to the earlier questions we were doing. Where's another solution? Well, we can start from here and turn around to the second blue line. So we've got a possible solution here. That would be 2 theta. Now remember, this goes up to 720. So that is twice 360 degrees. So we can actually go from here to this value here and then go around another complete turn. We looked at that idea in a previous video. And also with this green one here, once I've got this solution, I can go around a further 360 degrees. So if you use your calculator, make sure you're in degrees mode. Then if we take the inverse sine of root 3 over 2, you'll find that the angle 2 theta turns out to be equal to 60 degrees. That's what will show up on the calculator. So this angle in here is 60 degrees. We'll just mark that in there, that that's 60 degrees. And so obviously this one's 60 degrees. Now the mistake that a lot of people make when doing this kind of work is that they next divide both sides by 2. There's nothing wrong in that because we're going to want what theta is. So if you were to divide the 60 degrees by 2, you're going to end up with theta equaling 30 degrees. But the mistake they then make is to use the quadrant diagram and assume that this angle here is 30 degrees instead of 60 degrees. 
and then work out all the other solutions based on 30 degrees. Don't do that, okay? What you've got to do is work off this diagram here where the angles are 2 theta. So you've got 2 theta equals 60 degrees, that's the red solution, okay? For the green one here, that's going to be 180 minus 60 degrees, so that's going to be 120 degrees. So we'll put 120 degrees there, that's the green angle, theta. Remember, we can now turn on from this red to theta, which was 60 degrees, a further 360 degrees. So if we add 360 to 60, that's going to give us 420 degrees. So I'll just do a dotted line there to show you that that's associated with this red one. And then also the 120 degrees here, we turn another 360 degrees. So 120 degrees plus a further 360 degrees is 480 degrees. And I'll just do that one with a dotted green line to show it's associated with the 120. So we now divide each of these answers by 2. So 60 degrees divided by 2 then is 30 degrees. 120 divided by 2 is 60 degrees. 420 divided by 2, 210 degrees. And then finally 480 divided by 2 is 240 degrees. Okay? So notice how when we're doing these questions we seem to go out of the original range. Okay? But then, yet when we divide by 2, it brings us back into the range. So, let's try the next one here. Solve tan theta upon 2, or tan of a half theta equals minus root 3 over 3, for theta between minus 180 degrees and 720 degrees. So for this one, you might like to uh, think about having a go at this one. So I'll just give you a moment then to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you did have a go at this. So to get half theta or theta over 2, what we need to do is inverse tan both sides. So therefore we've got theta divided by 2 equals the inverse tan of negative root 3 over 3. So we're looking at a negative value for tan. And we'll come to the quadrants in a moment. But first of all, let's change the range that we've got here to theta over 2. So we've got to divide each one of these values by 2. So we get our new range. And we'll just put that in here. New range. And this new range is for theta upon 2. So if I divide the theta then by 2, I've got theta upon 2, or half theta. And then if I divide the minus 180 by 2, then we're going to have minus 90 degrees there. And dividing the 720 by 2 gives me 360 degrees. So, quadrant diagram time. Okay, so we draw our quadrant diagram. We're looking for where the tan of an angle is negative. So we should now know that it's in the second quadrant and the fourth quadrant. So we draw our lines in the second and fourth quadrants, equally inclined then to the horizontal. Mark those in as being the same angle. And what we need now is to work out what are the possible values for theta upon 2 between minus 90 degrees and 360 degrees. Well, we've got a negative one if we were to turn in this direction here. Remember turning clockwise is negative and that's clearly going to be more than minus 90 degrees. So this is a possible value for theta upon 2. So mark that in as theta upon 2. Where else can we get a solution? Well we can get the one round here, okay? That's a possible one, turning in the positive sense. It's going to be smaller than 360 degrees, so mark that in as theta upon 2. There's also another one. We could turn all the way from here, 
right the way around in the positive sense all the way around to here this too is going to be less than 360 degrees so that's a theta upon 2 so three solutions for this particular question and so what are those solutions well if we do the inverse tan of negative root 3 upon 3 on your calculator then it will be a half theta or theta over 2 you'll see that you get minus 30 degrees come up on your calculator and that's going to be this red one here okay so that's minus 30 degrees so underline that in red so we know that this angle in here marked in blue is of magnitude 30 degrees so that will help us get this green one round here which will be 180 minus the 30 which will be 150 degrees so we've got 150 degrees as another possible angle that's that green one now when it comes to the pink one here all we've got to do is think of that as 360 degrees for a full turn minus the angle in here which was 30 degrees so the pink one here is going to be 330 degrees so to get theta all we need to do now is double all of these angles times both sides by 2 so therefore you end up with theta equaling minus 60 degrees 300 degrees and 600 and 60 degrees all these angles are now in this range here from minus 180 degrees to 720 degrees okay well there's this last one here and if you haven't had a go at these I would strongly encourage you to have a go at this one so what we've got then is to solve cos 4 theta over 3 equals root 2 over 2 for theta greater than or equal to minus 270 degrees and less than or equal to 90 degrees so for this one then we'll take the inverse cosine to both sides so therefore we have 4 theta over 3 or 4 thirds theta equals the inverse cosine of root 2 over 2 put that in brackets not that you have to but I think that looks better there so we need a new range then so for the new range just mark that in there for the new range what I've got to do is multiply each of these values by 4 and then divide by the 3 to each of them if we start with theta multiply it by 4 you're going to get 4 theta divide it by 3 and you get 4 thirds theta but if we do the same to the minus 270 degrees you should find that you get minus 360 degrees there and it's going to be less than or equal to and if we times 90 degrees by 4 thirds you get 120 degrees so that's our new range from minus 360 degrees then to 120 degrees now we need the quadrant diagram we're looking for where cosine of our angle is a positive value so drawing the quadrant diagram cosine is going to be positive when we're in the first quadrant and the fourth quadrant so again drawing lines then in the first quadrant and the fourth quadrant equally inclined to the horizontal mark those in we're looking for possible values then of 4 theta over 3 lying between these two values minus 360 to 120 so where can we find them well the first one is going to be say for instance turning around in this direction okay it's going to clearly be less than 120 degrees so there's a possible solution so this will be labeled now 4 theta over 3 we've also got others we can't turn by the way from here right the way around to there because that will be clearly more than 120 degrees but for the negative side we can get a solution if we start from here and turn in the negative sense to there 
that's clearly going to be more than minus 360 degrees. So therefore, this is a possible solution for theta over 3. And there's another one. If I start from here, turn in the negative sense all the way around to this blue line there. That's another possible solution for theta over 3. That turn there is greater than minus 360 degrees. OK, so our three solutions then. So just use your calculator. Assuming you're in degrees mode, you then get 4 theta over 3 or 4 thirds theta equals. And the value you get on your calculator, first of all, turns out to be 45 degrees. So this angle in here is 45 degrees. I'll mark that in for you. OK, that's 45 degrees there. So what we've got then is that one solution is 45 degrees. That means that that's the red one. The green one, by symmetry, must be minus 45 degrees. So let's just pop that one in there as being minus 45 degrees. Now for the pink one here, this would be a turn of minus... 315 degrees. So that would be minus 315 degrees there. So that's giving us all the possible values for 4 thirds theta. So to get 4 theta, I just need to multiply all the values by 3. So we get 4 theta equals, and multiplying 45 and minus 45 degrees by 3 is just going to give me plus or minus 135 degrees. And then if I multiply minus 315 degrees by 3, I end up with minus 945 degrees. Now to get theta, all I need to do is divide all my answers by 4. So dividing plus or minus 135 degrees by 4 gives me plus or minus 33.75 degrees and then minus 945 degrees by 4 gives me minus 236.25 degrees. Okay so I hope that's given you some idea then how we go about handling problems with multiple angles.